Honorable John G. Roberts, Jr. and the Associate Justices of the Supreme Court of the United States. Second President of the United States, William Jefferson Clinton, and Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, the Honorable George Walker Bush, and the Vice President of the United States, Dick Cheney, accompanied by Senate Republican Leader. Secretary for the Minority, David Chiappa. And that's it. Last time they announced him as president. coming out. Everyone's all amped up and uh, pretty soon we'll be out here. Ladies and gentlemen, the President-elect of the United States yeah! Dr. Rick Warren, pastor of the Saddleback Church in Lake Forest, California, to provide the invocation. Now today, we rejoice not only in America's peaceful transfer of power for the 44th time, we celebrate a hinge point of history with the inauguration of our first African-American President of the United States. We are so grateful to live in this land, a land of unequal possibility, where the son of an African immigrant can rise to the highest level of our leadership. And we know today that Dr. King and a great cloud of witnesses are shouting in heaven. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Give to our new president, Barack Obama, the wisdom 
to lead us with humility, the courage to lead us with integrity, the compassion to lead us with generosity. Bless and protect him. His family, Vice President Biden, the cabinet, and every one of our freely elected leaders. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office on which I am about to enter. The duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Yeah. Obama, I solemnly Barack, swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. The office of President of the United States faithfully. And will, to the best of my ability, and will to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. he has shown throughout this transition. Ooh. 44 Americans have now taken the presidential oath. The words have been spoken during rising tides of prosperity and the still waters of peace. Yet, every so often, the oath is taken amidst gathering clouds and raging storms. At these moments, America has carried on not simply because of the skill or vision of those in high office, but because we, the people, have remained faithful to the ideals of our forebears and true 